Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms and welcome to this new Let's Play series for Erlengrat. So, this is a map that I've wanted to play for a little while. I've played it before, uh, but I haven't done a Let's Play on it, so this will be the first time for that. Uh, what we're going to do is focus probably on animal husbandry in this playthrough. So if you're interested in learning how to, you know, care for animals, grow your farm with animals, and all the things that go along with that, this is going to be the perfect series for you. So, without further ado... Let's get into it. So we're just going to create our character. Uh, just go for a more standard, standard dude. Give him some hair. I mean, in this stuff you can change later on. It's not critical that you get it right at the start. So, and seeing as we're on a European map, so the Swiss Alps, we're going to go a European brand. Let's go Fent actually. So we've got our Fent overalls. Uh, Alright, happy with that. Let's roll. So, we're starting a new farmer. This is our starter farm. Obviously there's nothing here yet. So I'm not sure if we're going to remain here. So the starter farm is pretty good. So there's cow. We should just jump into the build map actually. I'll be able to quickly whiz around. So the farmhouse is here. We've got a little garage here. Cow pen is here, silage pit is here, and then we have a couple of other, now that's the slurry tank area. Then we have the bunker for silage, and the, there's a shed. So, the reason why I'm not a huge fan of this area is because it's a little bit small. So we're going to look to go elsewhere. Now, here we are on the map here. So, generally when you start your own field 43, but what I'm probably going to do is either get onto field one of these fields here or up in this area over here i haven't quite decided yet i think from my recon that i did prior i was looking at pro field 20 or field 12 so that gives me a central location to all these fields so i can utilize them for productions and grass and such things but we've also got the hills uh, which, being a mountainous map, that's kind of the intention the, the, the developers have. You've got plenty of grass, plenty of access to grass silage, that type of thing. So, without further ado, let's get into some settings. So, I'm going to play with... So, what I do is... Real time scale, uh, easy difficulty, traffic on. We're going to play with seasons on just because we want to get a bit more of a realistic, sort of authentic playthrough. Uh, days per month one, fixed visual month off. We'll keep the snow on because the snow looks pretty good. We're going to turn off crop destruction, playing off, fieldstone off, lime required off, weeds off, uh, all the other stuff here can remain the same and then general settings so all our help when menus are on dollar kilometers celsius celsius uh, radio off there we go so let's just save that quickly so that's generally how i play the game it's up to you what uh what elements you want to turn on but really it just depends on your, your play style all right so let's transport down to uh let's just go down we probably need a vehicle actually so let's go and buy up by a cheap run around vehicle so it's either going to be the lizard pickup or the mahindra retriever uh i probably will go Let's go this one. I'm just going to lease it. Okay. And then we'll go and case out potential area for the farm. So what I'm thinking is either f potentially field 19 straight up or field 20. So if I just jump into the build node because now I've got a spawn point. The reason why I like this area, nice and flat. It's got access to some pretty good fields close by. 
and we're central to the town and the shop area so we'll be able to um, do what we need to in order to have a productive operation. I mean the other place that we could go to is further north however I think this is going to be us particularly field 20 probably to start with so let's let's buy that um, all right now what have we got on there okay so let's uh, drive a little bit more realistically so I really like Erlingrad I like the the town I like the feel I like the just the vibe of the map like look at those mountains like look at that it really is immersive and it really is selling the story of the Swiss Alps, which I believe this is what this is where it's based off uh, in terms of location. Uh, all right, I don't think I can get in over here, which is clever. Let's see if I can delete this fence actually. I can't delete the fence either. Uh, this looks to be, so I'm not, I'm not, I haven't done a map tour, I'm probably not going to do a map tour, it's just going to be a case of discover it as we go, but if you're interested, interested in a map tour, this is a production point, so this is the mill, so this is the flour mill, so we're not interested in that. There's plenty of videos out there for, for guided map tours, but I'm just going to sort of discover this organically and naturally as I play. So we just need to find the entry point to this field. So it looks like there's one here. So I don't want to have issues with this fence. Uh, maybe looks like you can drive through it, so maybe it's not going to be an issue. Yeah. So it's just there for decoration. So the reason why I'm concerned about that is just obviously um, uh, the ability to get in equipment in and out etc so what do we got here we've got corn and we've got sunflowers okay so what we actually might do is we might buy field 9 10, 14 so what's this going to cost us 180 and field 16 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant grass straight away so zoom out so this is going to be our starter area so nice big plots of grass and I think we're going to go straight for cows initially so cows require so what do we got I've got a couple of mods installed as well so I'll talk about them as we go through so we've got the standard large cow, cow barn and the feeding robot so looks like they take hay and grass and they produce manure so we can use the manure for fertilizer for fertilizing contracts that type of thing speaking of that let's have a quick look at contracts so while we're figuring out what we're going to do we've got baling and plowing yep so i'm going to accept this i'm going to borrow the items okay that that actually do anything? Um, okay. I thought there was a tractor that I just leased. Let's go to the shop. Alright, I think I must have declined that contract. That was silly. Anyway, not to worry. All right, let's get let's get some of our own gear. So what we're going to do is check the used equipment sales because what we want to do is straight away we want to set ourselves up for grass work. So we've got nothing there that's useful. Uh, we need to get a cedar. So I'm going to. So the reason why I'm starting in farm manager is because I want to be able to go to my go to equipment straight away and not have to worry about working up to it so let's go the what have we got pottinger so this will this will be the one we're going to go with so this will do direct this is a direct drill 
uh, it'll fertilize and it will seed for us straight away. So let's grab that. It's only got a 210 horsepower requirement. So I'm going to lease that. Uh, I'm going to get probably... Oh, let's have a look. JCB fast track. That's a bit of overkill for what we need. Now we've got the Fent Vario 700. Or the class... Let's go to the Fent Vario 700. And I need to get it with the upgraded engine. So that's going to be 246 horsepower, so that should be okay. So let's lease that. Now hopefully we don't need a front weight. So the plan is going to be to get some good used equipment when we can. Alright, so I need to get some fertilizer and seed in this thing, so over to the big bag pallets. So let's get solid fertilizer. So let's buy that. And let's get some seed. Alright, now we just need to drive over to... So let's zoom out a bit so we can see what we're doing. Driving up to the pallet, we should get the refill indicator. So we'll take all that seed. And we should also have a provision for the fertilizer, which we do. Now the thing with grass that's interesting is once you plant it, it grows back. So there's an instant benefit there of not having to essentially refill. So you can basically leverage. So I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna do this first section. So let's unfold the cedar. Now I'm not worried about the sunflower and the crop that's currently in here. Uh, let's turn on the cedar. Hang on. Let's check the crop calendar actually. So we want to plant grass. Grass can be planted basically any time. Okay, so I need to change. Turn off cedar. Switch it to grass, which we've got there. Turn on cedar. Low cedar. So that should be. So I've obviously missed a bit, so I'll go back and fix that up. Let's see if this worker. Right, my truck's going to be in the way, so let's get let's get this moved on. Okay, so he is going to do that for us. I've just realised I probably should have got a bigger cedar because this is going to take quite a, quite a long time to get all that grass planted. Um, yeah, look, we might do that because this is going to take forever otherwise. Now, the other thing I want to try and start to think about is how I'm going to plan out the the actual... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this worker to go the other way. Now, the thing with um, grass that is good is that we can spin it a couple of different ways. So, the grass can be cut and picked up at the forage wagon straight away fed to the animals uh, it can be turned into silage it can also be turned into hay so basically the initial investment of setting up the the grass field we essentially don't need to do anything after that to maintain it now so we can fertilize it and do that sort of stuff uh, let's try this one actually this is going to be 15 meters, 18 k's an hour. This one, yeah, this one's. Yeah, we haven't got a direct drill. So the Amzone Saitan needs us to cultivate first. Whereas this will seed and fertilize, but not cultivate. So it's not a direct drill. So I have to cultivate and plow the fields first before it actually will let me 
uh, put the grass in. So let's have a look at the planters. See if that has a direct drill option. This one doesn't do grass. Uh, this one does grass, but it's a mod. It'll do 18 meters. So this is the Great Plains. I mean, I probably could use this just for the interest of time, but then it's another bit of cost. So what I might do is I'm going to yeah let's get it just make sure it does what we need it to do oh no it wouldn't anyway so that would that would have been pointless because that it still it still requires cultivation first before it'll actually do anything so uh, let's have a look at cedars again we don't have an option for a direct drill other than the really huge air carts, which I don't really want to use at this stage. So, alright, what I'm going to do is, this will do 8 metres. This might have been a better option actually, this is a little bit wider. Uh, I suppose I could lease another, could lease another Pottinger. That might take a bit of time as well. So, what I might do is I'm gonna cut the video there, let these guys do their thing, and then I'll come back once this field is um, turned into grass, and then we can go from there. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, this guy is just about finished. So that's all done. So that's one field down. So if we have a quick look, uh, that's grass. So grass growing needs rolling. We're not going to worry about the rolling at this stage. We are going to continue with the next planting operation. So we're probably going to plant, I would say, field 20 as well. Just to give us and obviously we're going to do field 18 also, so let's just uh, get this guy lined up. I mean, not the world's straightest run, but it'll get the job done. So basically while I'm doing this with one tractor is, I want to save money essentially, so I don't want to have extra equipment that I don't need initially because uh, I want to hang on to as much cash as possible um, I could have cultivated it and done it a bit quicker however it's just more cost so really all it's costing me at the moment is just time so what I'm going to do is get this guy to finish that run and then we'll line up for the run this way Uh, particularly initially like because obviously got one point yeah 1.1 million let's say roughly that money can go very very quickly uh, and considering we've bought three fields so far <clears throat> I don't want to I don't want to have the issue of running out of cash so let's get that seed underway hopefully he will get this whole row and then we'll line him up for the run on the opposite side. Now you might think to yourself, why not just let the corn grow and harvest it, or let the sunflowers grow and harvest it. Well the issue there is you need the equipment that's appropriate to harvest that crop, and because it's not part of our game plan, it basically doesn't make sense to do that because of the cost that we would expend and the time that we'd, we would expend <coughs> to pick that up when we can just go and focus on our our plan which is to go really hard on the grass so grass silage, hay, grass itself 
particularly for the cows so this is going to be the main staple of cow, the cow feed so to make TMR, total mix ration, that type of thing and then also if we do layer in other animals, potentially sheep or you know something something similar something where we can leverage the, the grass and the hay it's going to move that car again every time I do this I always have something in the way Uh, this oak tree is probably going to have to go at some stage as well. Okay, so he should be able to now go up and back reasonably comfortably. That tree might get in the way at some stage. And then, yeah, I'm thinking this, this field here, so field 20, is where we're going to put the cow barn. So I haven't decided whether we're going to do the... Um, the small cow barn, the large cow barn, or the one with the auto feeding robot. I do have a couple of other mods here that'll feed, that'll house more cows. So I may even go a mod, to be honest. I haven't decided yet. How much is this one? This is f with a large pasture. I mean, I'm probably leaning towards. Large pasture for cows, 25. So that's just a feed lot, essentially. I mean, I could go the one that houses the most. So this is this one. The Berg, Bergton Cow Barn. Kind of looks like it belongs on this map. Bavarian Milk Shipping. But this is 750 or 722,000 which I'm thinking is probably going to be too expensive so I'm probably not going to go the large cow, cow barn to be honest gives me 80 cows half a million that still gives us 500,000 to play with and we can still really focus on our silage production so I think what we'll do first is we're going to focus on grass and silage so we're probably going to do silage bales, stockpile those, and then start selling them to get some cash up, and then, or well, we may just go straight to cows because the cows sell, or the cows produce milk, slurry, manure, which we can then sell. So it gives us it gives us an income boost, and then the silage can just complement that. So I'll have a think about that, um, and when we come back in the next episode, we'll we'll go through it so thanks for watching this episode guys hope you enjoy it stay tuned for the rest of the series and i'll see you in the next one bye for now